so we're going to install some plugins and change the font size underneath the pad light. Um, really didn't know that this was something that I needed to create a video for, but I've had a few requests. I thought I would. Uh, first off, we're going to grab the pad light to uh, let's call it. Put it in a oh, does it already exist? Uh, video. Okay, now we've got the pad light. We're going to run it. Let it get the dependencies. Okay, now it's got the dependencies. Um, and it's done the first run. What we're going to do is jump into settings. We're going to uncomment the section for users, just leaving the password as default. So the password is going to be change me one for the user admin. Just going to run that again. Okay, now that that's running, you'll see that it says the admin plugin page can be reached at blah 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 admin plugins. So copy the admin plugins bit. Type it into the URL with the server address. Which in this type, in this case, is slave to. And what we'll get is a username and password prompt, um, which is off my screen at the moment. Uh, let me move this down. There we go. And that's admin change me one. So that gets us into the admin back end for Etherpad Lite. It's down. Just give it a few minutes to do the first time run. If you run into this error, it's uh, because you don't have access to your, uh, or it's possibly because you don't have access to your uh, .npm file of this cause, because you've run it as another user. Um, what we'll do is we'll give it a minute, see if it gets over it. If not, we'll change the permissions on that folder. And uh, go from there. Okay, so it does appear that we've got a problem with the permissions. Um, it's really easy to fix. You see that the error stated that the home Jose .npm folder is not writable. So what we'll do. It's just sudo charm r jose home jose dot npm so password and that's just going to change permissions back so that I now have ownership. And like I said, that will have been because I've run it as root before. So just going to restart everything. Come bring back up the admin plugins page. <coughs> Just give this a minute to uh, get all the stuff it needs. Okay, so once you're done uh, getting the files, you'll be presented with a list of plugins that are available. Um, what we're going to install is a plugin for changing font size, which is called EP Headings. You'll see it here. And we're just going to click install, scroll up, make sure we watch the progress. We don't want to do anything whilst, the, uh, whilst it's downloading and installing. Let's give it a minute to just do this. Okay, and that's the installation completed. We jump back into our server and if you do have a problem where <coughs> the uh, plugin hasn't installed and you can't see it on the user interface, um, then we can just restart the server via the web interface from the, from the admin URL. However, just give it a few minutes because this is just doing its first run. What it's doing is it's compiling all the uh, settings that it needs. And it'll only take this long on the first time that it runs. Okay, so you can see here we've got a connection bar, there we go. So here's our pad, and we can change it to heading 1, heading 2, so we're able to change font size as we please. So there you go, that's how to uh, install a plugin that changes the font size. Uh, add how to install other plugins as well. There's lots of plugins in the, uh, if you visit admin plugins, in the, uh, in, they actually start in NPM, so in the Etherpad Lite plugin store, or whatever you want to call it. So have fun and good luck.